Janet Mills has gotten lots of attention for being Maine's first woman governor and was front and center for state government Take Your Daughters and Sons to Work Day, telling the kids and parents and later reporters there should be no more barriers. Hopefully it means that uh, they see the horizons and opportunities that are available to them right here in Maine, that they can stay here if they choose and they can be anything they want to be if they put their hearts and minds to it. A message that matters to Stephanie Marcotte and her daughter Quintessa, an eighth grader at Mount Blue Middle School. It was her first time visiting mom at work. And both said having a woman as governor is a big deal. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, especially raising a, a daughter in this day and age, having strong role mo models is very important to us. Um, I want to be a political scientist and be in office because I really want to see changes that are made with women, and I really just enjoy seeing powerful role models in the governor. And just a short time later, the legislature began a more official step toward gender equality for Maine by changing some of the words in our laws. An act to make references to the governor and Supreme Judicial Court justices gender neutral. A bill to remove references to he or him in various laws, including those about judges and the governor. A problem noticed by Representative Matt Moonen. And just happened to notice that in multiple places in the statute, um, the, the laws still refer to the governor as he, him, his. So he decided it was time to change. His bill supported with a highly unusual visit to the committee from both Governor Mills and Chief Justice Lee Softley. I note some very important dates. In uh, Maine gained statehood in 1820. Women gained the vote in 1920. You now have the opportunity to assure that Maine does not meet the first sunrise of 2020 without addressing the outdated gender assumptions enshrined in our laws. Faced with Maine's two highest ranking leaders, the committee wasn't about to say no and passed the bill right away. Both leaders said fixing the words will send an important message to women and men, and especially to children, that the state believes in equality. In Augusta, Don Carrigan, New Center, Maine.